we're on the banks of the River Trent again on a gorgeous day. We're outside Nottingham Forest Football Club on the free fishing section, just downstream of the rowing club, downstream of the Trent Bridge. It's a beautiful place to fish. I've got about nine foot of depth on, two rod lengths out, and I've been catching roach, perch, every put in I've had a bite so far. That the idea is today is just to show you how good some of the free fishing is around Nottinghamshire. Um, but I'm going to try and target the bigger roach. So I'm only feeding emp and tears at the moment. I've got some casters. And I've got a few maggots for upbait, which are old casters on the old maggots on the turn. So I'll only use them if I really have to. I'll pull a couple of them and got a purge straight away. I've got hardly any flow. I mean, Wagner wouldn't be a bad idea, but I've got nine foot of depth on it, two rod lengths out. And you could even fish on your rod end. I mean, you could fish a pole today, Wagler. But I'm trying to run down a stick float and just, just because I love stick float fishing. And the conditions are so perfect, not a breath of wind. Hoping we can get some of them roach above a pound that we used to get years ago around here. So I'm fishing caster at the moment, double caster. I'm feeding emp and tears. Hopefully after about an hour or so, the bigger roach might come in and start feeding. But you come to ask for a more perfect day for stick float fishing. It really is beautiful. The water is very clear. So I'll be surprised if, we, if we'll get them up in the water today. We'll stay in the deep water. So I've been feeding now for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to try it here. Let's see if there's anything taking it. Put a little tear on. There's certainly plenty of fish down there because of I'm catching on caster. Ooh, a couple of bites there, little nibbles at it. That's a good sign. Used to this style of fishing a lot when we were with kids. This bait was so cheap, emp and tears. A whole bucket of emp and tears only cost you about 50 pence when we were kids. But it's the quality of the fishing you can get with it. If you can get them going on infant tears, the fish used to be huge, huge bags. Fish of, you know, three, four ounce. And they, you'd have sessions where you'd get half a dozen roach above a pound throughout the day. And huge nets of fish. They used to get a lot of skimmers and hybrids as well which they just don't seem to be there anymore. And I don't know whether it's the water's too clear, they don't stay close in, or cormorants have at them all, I'm not quite sure. It's a better fish. There's some single maggot, this one. So they're not quite taking the tear properly yet. They're just really pecking at it. If we can catch on, catch these on Maggot and Caster. Beautiful.
stunning fish, beautiful. It's a very popular water location. You have to share it with the rowers, joggers and cyclists, and dog walkers on the bank. I wouldn't advise you to come and do this on a forest match day, though. There's 20,000 people wandering around. Oh, took that one. I've been down here when the forest team have walked past. Wow, early 80s. I've been yards. 13, 14. And then um, the whole of the European forest squad came walking past and stood behind me. It was a, it was a weekday, it was quiet. They'd obviously been training and they come walking past and all stood behind me talking to me. That was a, a day I'll always remember. It's Kenny Burns, Larry, Larry Lloyd, Trevor Francis. Although I didn't understand there, uh, John Robertson was there, John McGovern. A couple of the Scottish bloke, didn't understand them at all. <laughs> talking to me. Uh, John Robertson and one or two others were talking to me. Ian Bowyer was there. Yeah, brilliant. Very soft action rod, this is beautiful for roach fishing. They're fishing single caster at the moment. Experiment with the colours, whites and reds, lighter colour ones. Just vary it a little bit. Pretty much going to bite every chuck in, just trying to pick out the better fish. They'll come, hopefully they'll come in a bit. So I've got my Daiwa 125M on today. Um, it's got a four pound main line, and I'm fishing a three and a half pound trace. It's still quite heavy. But if we get any big chub or anything uh, unusual, carp or anything turn up in the swim, might have a chance of getting him out. If it was in a match, I'd be fishing a lot lighter than this. Little one.
still just feeding infant here at the moment. I've probably got about 20 fish already. A bit less than an hour. But two about three ounces is the biggest. It was a better one. Might have been snagged in some weed actually. Oh yes. Oh here we go. <sighs> oh. Come on. Don't come off now. Oh look at this one. Wow. So it's just been about an hour now and we've absolute beauty. Look at this one. That's what we've come for. We'll have a good look at this one. Let's have a look at this beautiful fish. Against all odds that this has survived, this is over a pound. It's the biggest roach I've had since the winter sessions last year. Just look at that fish. Absolutely stunning fish. One pound four. Maybe one pound six. We're right in front of Nottingham Forest Football Club. Look at the roach that is. It's absolutely stunning fish. Wow. Get that in the net. See if we've got any bigger ones down there. But that's what we've been coming for. We can get those. It's only years gone by. Half a dozen fish like that in one day. Just on empanteers. That one has come to a single caster. But feeding the empanteers, I think, is the critical part. Good news so far, I've not seen any cormorants down here today. Well, with this one, there's normally a shoal that's in this size. And again, but nice one, but not quite the what size we just had. Nice fish though. So beautiful fish. That's fish.
hook another nice fish. It's all fishing over the empanties with a single caster at the moment. But the last, well, there was six or seven fish in the last six puts in since I've had that uh, one above a pound. Some nice roach in this one now. Absolute beauties. So this is my first fish on tier. This is like a nice one. Four ounce. As, free, as far as free fishing goes, then, this must be some of the best free fishing in the UK. It must be. If you know anywhere any better than this, it's free. Uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know where, you go, where you're going. Might come down and have a go on it. <laughs> but certainly for roach fishing, and there's nobody else here. Both directions, I can't see anybody else fishing at all. Another clonking one. You get that empanteer clunk when you strike. You just know it's a solid roach. It's average stamp of this fish now. Absolutely fantastic. Finished his turn of three nice fish straight away. That might be it for the day now, just keep taking it on to you. This feels like another nice one. Not massive. Thought it was bigger than that. So a quick look at the rig then. Here's my tear. Uh, that's a size 18. 
I'm looking at the back of the shank, plenty of hook showing. Three pound eight trace. Got a swivel and a bulk. A couple of more bulks. I've got spread out bulk. And then my float is a 5BB drain and stick float, dome top. Quite heavy, makes it easy to cast. Slightly undershotted, hopefully. We can pick it up on the footage, but we'll see. There's a lot of reflection and a little ripple on there. A lot of boat ripple. So I'm not sure whether it'll come out. Hopefully it will. So it's quite a positive setup, not, not super light. Hooked into another good one. It's a nice fish, this one is. Yeah. Not quite as big as the other one. Oh, but nice fish though. Maybe 10 ounce. I'll get over the hook. Absolutely stunning. That's a pike attacking the keep net. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Holes he's put in the net. Didn't get in, thankfully. We've still got all the roach. <laughs> wow. We don't see that every day. All the fish he's got to ever go at, and he's having to go at the ones in the net. I didn't see Mr. Pike. It's, the water's so clear. You can see you know, at least two, two foot through the surface, three foot. And all the weeds down here just lurking in there, isn't he? Actually, I don't think I'm changing up baits quick enough. I'm staying on the tear. That's a stubbornness, I think. Should really go back on the caster. Thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful day for it, isn't it? I don't care if I don't catch out. It's nice today.
Oh yeah, clunk. This is another nice fish. Gonna get him in before the pike comes back. Oh yeah, another ten ouncer. Another beauty. Another good fish again. Come out in the net. Beautiful. Look at that one. It's all right. It doesn't matter. Don't bother the fish. No. People think it does, but it don't. I've changed now to a 16 hook. They're pretty much taking tier very well. The bigger hook, swing fishing better. Hopefully, miss less bites. If a fish cast, I'll have to fish double or mag it. Just fish double just to hide the hook a bit. But at the moment, I'm just seem to be sticking with the tier and picking off better fish. Still missing quite a few bites as you do on tier, but. Fantastic fishing, it's beautiful. I've got the whole river to myself, well, angling wise, full of boats. So I'm actually fishing probably about a foot off bottom, really. Not dragging on or anything. Not at all to my depth, I've just got bites throughout. The fish are coming up off the bottom, taking it. It's in the lower layers. There's no other bait going in. So, just again. I'm the only one feeding them. No cormorants here, so the Fish are settling in the swim. Apart from Mr. Pike, Mr. Jack Pike, uh, probably haven't seen the last of him today. He's tried to get in by keeping it. Oh yeah, clunk. Another nice fish again. This fish getting more and more confident, taking it down as well. Oh yeah. Another solid clunk. Oh, didn't want that one. So if you want peace and tranquility, this is a place to come. Ground workers, we've got flats being built, boats, Ooh, but not more in the fish. Where the fish are. Look at that. Gorgeous. Despite all the noise.
still on the tear. I'm feeding a big patch of hemp. In that, there's only four or five tears. So for a, if you're mixing them up, you see there's hardly any tears in there, it's mostly hemp. For every pint of hemp, it's not even a one-tenth tears. One-tenth of a pint tears, so. Just enough to give them a taste. Got to keep it going in. I mean, some patches are nearly all hemp. Only two or three tears in there. I'm not feeding anything else. I think that's quite important to get them onto hemp and tears. You've got to really starve them. If you start feeding casters and maggot, then you might not catch on tears at all. Or you might only get the odd fish. Now you will catch fishing like that, but I'm after the bigger roach. A better stamp of fish. And most of the smaller fish won't be able to take this, take the tears. You'll probably find if you put maggot on, you know, you get bites, you get plenty of fish in there. But if you want to pick out the better ones, tear is normally the way forward. I've got a pint of casters here I've not used, uh, apart from hook bait, I've not fed any of them at all. Gone through boat flips, that one, eh? We can experiment now, go on a caster. So I did have that biggest, biggest roach was on a caster. So far I've fed about a pint of hemp. And we've been here just over two, two and a half hours. the caster. I've got some other casters that are on the turn from the red maggots I've had and the bigger, the bigger caster, the better hook bait. It's gone quiet then. Last couple of minutes, we'll start one fishing. If I'm not getting a bite, pretty straight away, then I'm thinking that pike's in the swim or big perch or something's come round. Oh, maybe not. Right, quick time check. Where are we? It's 11 o'clock. So I've been fishing nearly three hours now. Thought you just after eight. I must have 60, 70, 80 roach. Easy. And then um, 
starting to run out of empty. So I'm going to feed my casters. I've got over a pint of casters in here, which you really want, probably want using today. So I'm putting big pouches in, caster, and just see what difference it makes. Only feeding a very little bit of empty at the moment. We had a cracking morning session so far, but I'm going to carry on for a bit. I've still got over a pint of casters and see what we can pick up. Maybe feeding caster might bring them on. Even more. We'll fish everywhere with a maggot or a single caster, double caster. Pull that one back. Double caster, a bit bigger. Beautiful fish. These are unmarked. There's a, no cormorant marks on these fish, which is great to see. Caster, another decent fish again. Ooh, it's a bit big to lift that one. And they get up to the five ounce mark. <laughs> That's giving me trouble lifting them out of the water. And not this one, this is a bit bigger. Probably six, seven ounce. Double caster.
So I think feeding heavy with castor, they just refreshed them a little bit. They're getting a bit picky you know, on the um, tears. They're getting a bit finicky on it. I've changed to castor and feeding a bit heavier, so what with three better fish within about 10 minutes of feeding. That's a good one. Beauty. This was like a big fish, this one. Oh, it's a perch. I thought it wasn't going to be a good roach then. <laughs> a maggot and a caster. It started pulling, I thought, oh, we got another big roach here, but no. We've got a stripey. So nice to catch though. So now I've started feeding castor, I'm not getting any bites on tears. Um, I'm getting bites on maggot and, and castors, but um, the roaches switch over now, they're, they're trying to take castor, but so I'm getting a smaller stamp of fish. I've been fishing nearly four hours now. I must have 120 roach. Maybe more. Lost count. The, but the fish are generally smaller now. Just because I'm fishing maggot and single caster. Mm. We've double caster this time. Have a quick pan round. If you look downstream into the forest ground, you've got nobody fishing. Gorgeous day today. August 29 degrees. And if you just look upstream towards the bridge, you see there's nobody else fishing there. If you look through the bridge, there's nobody else on the steps either side either. So you've got this fantastic fishing, roach fishing. I'm the only one here.
I'm not sure I should tell anybody. Might not do the video. <laughs> Keep it all to myself. Perch, I think. So stop getting bites on caster and tear now, so one double maggot, still getting fish, still getting bites. So it's a bit odd. Nice day for a cruise and a beer. <coughs> Something a bit bigger on here. That's a perch. Nice fish. Very spiky, beautiful condition, look brand new. Lovely. Another perch. Another stripey. Plenty of them down there. Seems to have lost the roach and uh, been replaced by the perch. Right, I think that's 
we'll call it the end of the session there. It's been a fantastic morning. We've had four hours at it. We've got over a hundred fish. We'll uh, get packed away and we'll have a look at what we'll look at all the roach in there and a few perch as well. What do you reckon? Must be 20 pound of roach here. What a fantastic morning's fishing. Some really good ones as well. Let them go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a, a lovely morning's fishing. Perfect weather, perfect trotting conditions. Uh, it just shows you how, how lethal the method is. Um, must have been 120 to 150 fish in there. Easy 20 pound, probably more than that. And we've, uh, we've roached above a pound as well. Perch up to about eight or 10 ounce. But loads of quality roach, the four, five, six ounce category on tier. It died off a little bit the last hour. And I was struggling out to just drop onto double maggot. But I think either they're exhausted the peg or they're just a midday sun they decided not to feed. Uh, chances are they'll feed again later on. But yeah, absolutely fantastic fishing. Loved every minute of it. We'll definitely be back again. Thank you very much for watching. Please click the like and subscribe button. Bye for now. Thank you.